garage I'm cleaning today is a metal roof in a metal building. I'm cleaning the roof, the outside, and the whole inside. It's going to be an interesting job because my truck brakes went out completely. So I tried to fix it yesterday with my dad, but uh, the parts weren't going to come in. So I'm borrowing his truck and trailer. He's actually dropping the trailer off at the job and leaving it and then come back to get it later. So it's an interesting setup. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I'm super thankful that my dad and brother are willing to help me. Because if they weren't, then I wouldn't have this job and it might likely get canceled. So um, it's all screwed up. I got my drum back there, but we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna knock it out. The garage I'm cleaning today. I'm doing the whole outside, the roof, um, and the interior as well. But my dad is thankfully dropping off all my equipment on the trailer. Like I said, my truck that I've been using is broke down. The brakes are screwed up. So. Oh yeah, my mom's birthday. She's running away from the camera. What up, pops? We are here. This is the setup. That is the garage. Shit. I'm gonna, be putting, I'm gonna be putting a pretty hot mix on that roof, so before I even do it, I'm gonna make sure I wet this grass. So, especially because there's no gutters or anything, so I gotta wet this whole front and soak it pretty good. before I ever put chemical up there. I wanna make sure these roots and stuff get water before anything else. All right, so the first thing we're gonna try before I use my 12 volt pump is I'm gonna try to downstream it. I got 10 and a half percent breach in that jug right there. Um, so whenever it downstreams, it's gonna come out to like 2.1%. That's gonna be on the metal roof. So I'm gonna try this at first and if it doesn't work, I'm gonna need a stronger mix and then I'm gonna use my, my pump. So we'll see what, what happens here. But I'm gonna go ahead and pre-wet the roo uh, roof a little bit and the ground. Um, so I'll get started. She'll start up first try. She usually does, she usually does. There we go, baby. We ready to go. We ready to try this out. All right. There we go. I want to wet everything down pretty good. The air has to work its way through the hose. I want to wet the ground pretty good though. As usual, my machine cut off because I didn't have the gas switched on. That's pretty typical of me, Joe. Good job, Joe. Proud of you, buddy. Well, we're still pre-wetting the grass. So I'm gonna get up there in a second and pre-wet the metal. I'm sure that sun hitting it right on it. I don't want to have some kind of crazy chemical reaction. So I want to make sure I cool it down, drop the temperature a little bit, and then apply the chemical. So. I'm letting this down pretty good. Alright. Got some soap in there. Let's see how it goes, baby. You can see I've obviously saturated this pretty well. I pre rinsed the roof, but it's pretty wet over here, so I'm going to continue to water it for sure. Just downstreaming. I'm going to try this small section out. See how this works. See how, if this will move this stuff. If I'll let it sit long enough.
you can see all that runoff right there. That's what you worry about. And I'm not sure if this 2% two, 2 mix is going to move this. So we'll see. I'll let it sit for a little bit. I'm going to go back and water all that stuff. As you can see, that small section I did right there, it's moving it. I just don't know if it's going to be enough. So I might try to do a second application and see if it moves it a little bit more. But if not, I'm going to go ahead and set up my 12-volt pump and knock it out with that. Probably about a 4 to 5% mix. Because I only use the 2% mix on there. So... I don't know if that's gonna cut it. I guess we'll figure out, but hey, it's moved it. It's definitely moved it. Um, just not quite sure. All right, I got my transfer pump going, moving some of that into here. Um, it's a small little pump. I think it's one gallon a minute, so it's pretty slow. It's moving it. It's just gonna take a while. All right, I'm just gonna use my bigger one for a transfer pump, so. Screw that, that takes too long. All right, so we got that set up. I'm pulling out of that drum right there, the drop six in there. And I just got a regular garden hose set up. Um, so that's how we're gonna do it. And I got a water hose over there, constantly just flowing. Make sure everything's saturated. I put duct tape around that, but it's still a leak right there, you can see. That's where I got gloves on. All right, let's see. This is like four to five percent. Let's see if this works. See if this moves it. Definitely moving it a lot faster. As you can see, that was the trick. Just a little bit stronger. That's pretty pleased with that. I just applied some over here so you can see it's working already. But that section came out pretty good. Didn't use that much chemical. Uh, you can see that transition over there. I just put it on there, so I let it dwell for 10 minutes, maybe. All right, there we go. Took me a minute to get everything set up. I had a couple leaks, so I had to fix those real quick, so it's taking me a little bit longer, but you can see the dramatic difference. All right, I sat out here with the homeowner for a little while, talking, so I didn't get much progress, but yeah we're moving along baby it's coming out pretty nice just to show you how much i wet the ground you can see all that water out there that's all water coming out here because i wet the ground so damn much because i'm just so worried about killing all the grass you know all right so it's taking a lot longer than i want to but i just want to make sure i do a good job for them um this whole this side of the roof is completely done before i started it was black i'm telling you so it looks great i threw like a four and a half five percent uh bleach mix up there and it did the job pretty well i made sure the grass was nice and wet obviously i always do that but now i'm working on the inside which is a lot more difficult and i thought the roof would be more difficult but the inside is the hard part i'll show you um that was pretty difficult too you gotta hit every freaking inch of it but i haven't done this wall yet um so that's pretty dirty but i did that back wall and this wall i didn't really i'm trying not to get too close to the electrical obviously but there's a lot of stains on here that won't come off too uh like that i'm, I'm not using any chemicals in here i just don't want to take the chance uh, with the electrical outlets and he's got some stuff in the middle but so i'm using the turbo nozzle over there to hit everything i still gotta do this ceiling as well which is going to be challenging um but it's looking good it's just this i thought i didn't think this part would be as hard as it is not really hard it's just time consuming um 
pretty dirty. I thought this stuff would come off real easy, but it really doesn't. Like I gotta use pressure to get it, most of it off. Um, unless you, you got a better strategy, I'd definitely love to hear your advice because obviously I always am looking to get better and learn something and improve and speed up the process for next time. But yeah, I got this, uh, this to do the inside and then the, that side of the roof and obviously the outside out there and that back wall on the outside. Um, and then he has a small little patio over there on the other side of the house. That far into the house, there's a small little wooden patio and a little walkway I'm doing, which that won't take long, but um, yeah, this is turning out pretty good. I think around the outlets, I'm gonna just wet it down a little bit and wipe it down with a rag or something. Um, so we'll see how that goes.